Okay, this is the Tangfolio Map 1. The extra P stands for polymer. This is chambered in 9mm. Okay, 9mm. First, empty. And, uh, so, you can see, it's not loaded. First of all, let's talk about the appearance of the gun. Um, this is what you would say a copy of uh, a ZZ or a Jericho. In fact, they uh, take the same mags. So even uh, ZZ shadows take the same mags. So that's one for you. It's uh, this part is parkerized, and the rest is polymer. Um, it came with a rail. Okay, this one is made by Armscore Philippines. So it comes with these stock sights. The front is fixed. The rear is adjustable for windage. These are Novak sights. Came in with the uh, with the gun. So the first thing I changed on it are the uh, the dots. So originally it came in with white three dots. I just think that this color. Uh, presents it uh, easily presents it more so you can see that okay so things I added onto it I added grip tape here and here and here you can kind of see if it would focus okay so it has some serration it has a back strap and this, uh, I can tell this is supposed to be like rubbery. Also, this shape right here. Unfortunately, when uh, my hands are sweaty, I find it more that I have to realign. Okay, so that's why I put the grips in. So, um, this is marketed as a compact course the uh, Novak sights and also the barrel uh, short so the sights are no no snag sights um, so easy for you to manipulate over clothing so the magazine capacity so far I can only fit um, 16 rounds in in these uh, magazines it came with two of these so that's that's always a bonus one in a gun plus one more in the box it came with a, a hard case not really a hard case it's a soft shell box padded on the inside so it it also has the same arm score warranty this is made by arm score uh, Tomfolio is supposed to be um, an Italian brand um, I think they contracted arm score for that for this design um, so yeah it says Philippines made in the Philippines so let's go back to the things that I added uh, I mentioned there's a rail for it and I added this weapon light so this is an Olight focus okay PL mini 2 uh, Valkyrie 600 lumens definitely worth checking out okay so it takes down uh, relatively the same as a ZZ shadow would take down so it's a uh, see those two notches okay you align those then you push this out fairly easy okay comes out there's a lot of grease in there I know but uh, yeah just take out recoil springs and then there is your barrel a lot of grease okay So very quickly I just grab my ruler 
for you to see. I mean, if you can't see, I'll just put it here. So this is the barrel. Okay. You can kind of see what that, the measurement is like. So real quick, I'm going to put this back in. Okay, so just put this in here. It's the recoil spring. Okay, so what you want to do is insert that in the rails. Gonna cock this back and you align it again same spot as before then you just and that's that so I, I like to put a lot of grease on it um, so it's a double action single action pistol so that's your single you can see it's very crisp try that again a little bit of take up and then from here uh, double action is also pretty smooth so a little bit a little bit of wiggle room double action and then all the way it also has a half cock so half. this is full cock this is the half from here you can also shoot it so as far as the specifications, I'm sure you can check it out online. Um, I do want to mention something though. Arm score warranty, you have to check it check them out first. They do have a lifetime warranty, but it says that if I do anything on the gun, uh, it could possibly void the warranty. So I'll put that in here. And then also this one. And you can see that. This little bulge over here that's where the spring is the main spring so I'm not sure um, they are having problems with some of their polymers but you uh, be sure to check that first and consider everything before you purchase um, they do have some issues but you get what you pay for um, in this price range um, it's about 200 50 to 275 dollars uh, I don't know if I got that right but uh, it's in the same price range as some other polymer carry guns like a Taurus G3, G2 um, and other 9 mils I opted to go with this because well it's on a sale when I got it and I would like something to have a hammer I, I am not a fan of striker fire and I want something with a manual safety okay so my thoughts on this uh, I told you about the magazine so it came with two so that's 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 really good I like to show you how it fits okay so you see this over here it has this uh, that's fine if you're just using stock magazines, but if you're going to do uh, some serious shooting or if you want to put base pads on your magazines. So I had one made. Uh, you can probably buy them, but I have one made because the ones that are, I found in the market have an extra part here with a screw. And that's not going to work. Let's see here. It might snag there. So I opted to have one made. It's doesn't cost a lot. It's just a base plate. So, um, and I went ahead and bought a few other magazines because, like I said, they're really easy to find. Same as CZ, so it's definitely worth it. So with regards to carrying it, it's really lightweight as it is. Um, the O light helps. Let me put it back in. Yep. Anyway, 
the Olight helps with uh, a little bit of recoil. Um, I might show you a video clip of me shooting with the Olight and helps keep it down. Um, of course, you just need proper grip, but it helps. And plus, it's a light, so it makes it more uh, utilitarian, I suppose. So that's it. Um, those are just my thoughts on this gun. And this is a personal gun, so I'm going to be shooting it some more. I, I only had like 600 plus rounds in it. And I'm looking forward to shooting more after this quarantine. And in the future, maybe uh, experiment a little bit with the uh, recoil springs. Because recoil springs for this gun is uh, really cheap. And, you know, it, it's something to uh, maybe improve my shooting and maybe improve the gun. I don't know yet, so I'll update you on that. So again, this is the Tangfolio Map 1, 9mm compact with a lot of grease. <laughs> and that's it. Okay, so after I wiped up some of the grease, I had some more thoughts I would like to share. Um, the lock, okay? It's fine, it's very audible, and from a proper grip, I could easily lock it, unlock it. Um, but one other thing I'd like to share, um, once you lock it, uh, there is this extra movement. It feels like a decocker of some sort but it actually it's just a safety so I'm definitely gonna include uh, some night shooting me using the Olight uh, like I said it's worth checking out go Um, yeah, so I'd just like to show some more angles of the gun. So it looks really nice. Okay. Also, another thing uh, holsters. You are gonna. Well, I'm sure you can find holsters for this. Without the light, it's going to be relatively easy. Like I said, this is a Jericho profile. But uh, keep in mind, there is a rail. So I'm not sure the Jericho has that extra uh, material here. So with regards to holsters, right now I'm using just a UTG holster for the range. Haven't really gone to a Kydex shop to have one made. Especially with, with the light. It's going to be difficult uh, looking for holsters online. So yeah, those are just some of the things I would like to add. And uh, I'll put in some shooting videos. Okay, the, we're going to shoot the three full metal jackets first. We're going to shoot the reloads with Teflon tips. And we're going to shoot some hollow points. So. And this type of hollow point is actually, uh, well, it's low cost, but you can see it's, if it would focus, it's a bit shorter. So I just want to show you that it's going to cycle using the map. Okay, we're going to shoot the uh, full metal jackets first. Just to see if it would cycle, of course it's gonna cycle. So. Okay, we're clear. So it cycled. Then okay, so now we're gonna shoot reloads with Teflon tips.
clear. So it's cycled, no problem. Yeah, come in. Okay, so now we're gonna shoot the hollow points, the real short hollow points. So uh, it cycled no problem with all those three types of ammunition. Those are the ones I have. So uh, if you have a map and you want to share with me some information about what runs best with it, please do leave in the comments.